Actually, what time is it? Let's see. Um, 5.45 and I have not done any recording all day. Um, I am just hanging out in the craft room, watching Practical Magic and working on this bad boy, which is huge because I want it huge and oversized. Um, I'm making a sweater. I don't know if I'm going to write a pattern for it. It... Uh, sweater crocheting patterns although I love them and I am so glad people do them it is so much more work than any other type of pattern so like socks mittens clothing they all tend to have to have multiple sizes and sweater math not freaks me out but it totally just is a little mind-boggling at the moment so, I mean, I have had so many ideas for sweaters come in my head, especially since winter's coming up, you know, autumn's here, well, not here, but it is everywhere else. Um, <laughs> here, it's still 80 something degrees outside, so it's not here yet. Um, <coughs> it is getting cooler in the evening, like in the m mid to high 60s at night, but that's like three o'clock in the morning so um yeah I don't I don't know I have like I said I've had so many ideas for sweaters and I want to do them it's just it's that initial getting started so I have to make mine right for me and then I have to downsize it and then go up a few sizes as well. So it's just the sweater math that's involved is just, oh, it seems a little daunting. And I'm good at math. I'm really good at math, but I don't like math. <laughs> um, so yeah. I've already started writing down what I'm doing though, just in case if I do decide to be bold and do the sweater math that way if anybody does want this pattern they can buy it and I am like so excited that um, my shawl right now is so last night it was on the second page of what's hot right now um, in the crochet crochet section like if you were just looking up crochet patterns crochet and knitting I ain't even close to the top because knitting patterns literally outdo crochet patterns by double if not more um on Ravelry so but I was super excited I got up to the second page of what's hot right now I was so stoked <laughs> Um, I think I'm on the third page right now and I've actually had a few people buy it and I'm just so thankful and grateful for those people. You know, it's one of those things that it's like, like I said, I've never been so nervous to release a pattern before and this one I was nervous, you know, like, oh my gosh, so nervous because I wanted people to like it. I wanted people to try it you know and I got a good response when I showed it on the, the podcast so everything is looking up and there's always that fear that you're gonna make something you're gonna put it out there and no one buys it no one wants it and that fear can be terrifying and crippling to doing more patterns like I the first shawl that I put out I think I don't even know how many times it sold, but it wasn't very much. And yeah, it, it kind of hindered me from doing more patterns for quite some time. But then my inspiration struck and I was just, I needed to do it. And I still have another shawl pattern in the works, but I'm stupid and did it with black yarn and I didn't write anything. To 
down and I have to try and count black stitches and it's in wool like and wool like is very 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 black like it's not gray black it's black black like oh my gosh so I am still working on that which I think I'm gonna call the witch because it has that spooky vibe to it and I wanted that to actually be this month's shawl that it was gonna be so my plan initially I set October for the tri-peak fade which that was my late date the date I wanted to have it published in my head was like October or September 20th but obviously that didn't happen and here's Colin you want to say hi um say hi so obviously that did not happen and it ended up being published Monday, October 8th. So getting my next one out in October probably won't happen, but I'm still going to try and get it done to publish. And now I'm working on the sweater and like I said, I've had a couple other ideas come in my head so that's definitely something I'm going to try we'll see got an itch Lily's laying on my floor she likes to come in here and relax with me and here comes Emma so yes I've had a lot of pattern inspiration I've had a lot of inspiration lately and it's like I almost, I just can't get it out fast enough, and some ideas I completely lose, <laughs> which I guess, I mean, if I lose it, then it wasn't that great of a idea to begin with, if I lose it. Thank you. Colin, she got you a Pop-Tart. So, yes, I'm... I wish I get a strawberry one. That's um. cherry. So this is going to be my Cabin in the Woods um, sweater, which I've looked up. So if I have, if I do decide to um, publish this, um, there are no, oh, <laughs> there are no Cabin in the Woods sweaters. There's a lot of blanket. There's like a few blankets. There's a stocking. There is a square, but there are no sweaters. So... That makes me happy because if I do decide to um, publish this, it will it won't get mixed up with someone else's. Um, but I've also changed my um, what? I've also changed my Ravelry store name to Nick. Be polite, please. Um, instead of Crafty Mommy's Corner, I changed it to Holly Nicole Designs because that's my first and middle name, Holly Nicole. Um, yeah, so I've just been working on this basically, I can't say all day because I have not been up here all day, but I started this last night on the ribbing, um, which is just... Oh, I'm not going to say because if I do decide <laughs> to do, I mean, most crocheters, if you look at this, you'll be able to tell what kind of ribbing this is. Um, but I'm also thinking if I do publish this, I might do a lighter weight yarn version of it because this is super bulky yarn and this thing is heavy already and I have not even, I mean, I'm not even close to being done with it, obviously. Um, but I will tell you one thing, this thing is going to be cozy as heck, like super warm, super big, chunky. It's like that perfect sweater for like, oh, I have to run to the mailbox. So like our mailbox is not right in front of our house. Like it used to be like, we actually have to walk right to the corner and then go across the street. This is going to be like that perfect sweater in the middle of winter where you're like, crap, I have to go pick up my mail. 
but I don't want to put on like a whole crap ton of clothes, like a coat and a scarf. Like this is going to be a cozy sweater, super cozy. So yeah. So if this becomes, what does that say? I couldn't read it because I don't have my glasses on. Um, so if this does become a pattern, you guys are getting a little sneak peek now. Um, so yeah. I will say that my next shawl is a different shape. It's not the typical shape that you've seen um, in shawls before. I don't know if there's any knitted shawls in this shape, but I know for a fact there isn't any crochet shawls that I can think of. Um, and I've gone through a lot of shawls on Ravelry. <laughs> um, I think in my Ravelry favorites, let's see how many I have. I have so many stinking shawls, it's ridiculous. Um, I feel like such an old lady sometimes. Like, I really do. So, let's see. How many of Ravelry? I, <laughs> I don't know if anybody else does this, but when I get these squishy ones, there's always this little gap at the end that's just super squishy. And I always find myself, why aren't you going to my favorite? Okay, come on. It's taking forever. Let me try it this way. Okay. I have like a billion tabs open because I was looking for alternate yarn to better show off this pattern. If, like I'm keeping the option open of writing it. I'm writing it down. I'm, let's see, shawls, shawl, 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 shawl. I have 187 shawls favorited on Ravelry, <laughs> um, but I was looking for a different type of yarn to show off this pattern. Um, like I said, I'm leaning towards doing it. It's just the daunting task of the sweater math. So if... Um, I do. I just don't know when it will come out. I don't know. Who knows? Nobody knows. Nobody knows what the future holds, and I certainly don't. Because, yeah. And that's the one thing that kept me from publishing the pattern that I made with Emma's little sweater. Like, the doing all the sweater math for it was just, it seemed like it was going to be way too daunting. I've literally sat here for 12 minutes just talking. Are you even focused on me? I don't know. Oh. Um. So yeah. I've just been crocheting. And. My sister told me she is going to be having her baby. November 1st. That's when her C section is scheduled. So, I have a month to finish her baby blank. Well, less than a month. I. Oh my gosh, that's less than a month. That's like three weeks away. What am I doing working on this sweater? <laughs> this thing is gonna be so comfortable though. Like, oh my god. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna wrap it around me. Just hide away. Hide away. This is so warm. And I'm glad it fits because I didn't really see what size it was. I just, that's, that is my method. I am so crazy. Like, I don't measure anything. I just do it and then, hey, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Start over. <laughs> Well, now that I realize that I have um, less than three weeks to get that blanket done. <gasps> oh, excuse me. I am going to work like that. Work like that. I'm going to work on that like crazy. Um, so, yeah. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, a wonderful day. Um, someone did give me suggestions in... Um, the comments last video and I 
I'm completely blanking on their name. So thank you. And I will probably be doing a craft room tour after I get it cleaned because I mean, right now it looks clean, but what you don't see over here is like a whole stack of yarn and books and random stuff. And then, well, yeah, that's basically it, just this stuff. <laughs> um, but yeah, just getting things a little bit more arranged so I know like, oh, this is what's here, that's what's there. Because there's days where I'm just like throwing stuff everywhere and I think that's just like the madness of being a crafter. And I need to find my mom's sign. She used to have it hanging up in our kitchen. It said, you can't expect me to be creative and neat or something like that. Something along those lines. Like you can't expect me to keep be creative and be yeah neat that's what I that's what I thought it was so yeah <laughs> me and my mom have that issue of uh, maintaining order in our creative spaces so we will see you guys tomorrow even though today was not very eventful like we've sat at home all day anyways this is 16 minutes long I will be doing a craft room tour and maybe like a flash my stash video one of these days for vlogtober so i hope you guys have a wonderful wonderful tuesday <laughs> i'll see you tomorrow bye